Hey guys, Greg Benz here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can use subtracted luminosity masks in order to both improve the quality of your shadows as well as to reduce the size of your file. In this particular image, I've already processed the raw and I've got a really nice looking sunset as well as a reflection in the water, but the forest is looking pretty dark. So we wanna bring back more shadow detail here and we'll start by creating a dark luminosity mask that's gonna help target these areas in the trees, hopefully without hitting too much of the sky or other adjacent areas. So if we click on darks two, we can see we've correctly selected the forest, but probably too much of the sky. Darks three is better separation. Darks four, I think is looking pretty good. If you wanted to get even fancier, you could go and modify the orange layers here in Lemenzia to reject more of the sky colors and such, but I think this is gonna be perfectly fine. We have enough separation that we can go ahead and load this as a levels adjustment layer. So now our preview has been turned into a layer mask on a new levels adjustment. If we open up that levels adjustment, we can bring in the white point, which is going to brighten the image, but only in the areas that we targeted with darks four. So anything that is white in this underlying layer will be revealed. White reveals and black conceals. So this adjustment is gonna show through in the forest, as well as a few unwanted areas in the rocks and the darker part of the sky. We'll deal with that in a moment, but just for now, take a look at how much better that forest is starting to look here. So we can now take this and improve this result a bit better though. I mentioned that we can get better shadows by doing a subtraction. If we look at the shadows on these trees, look at this tree right here. You see clear detail on the tips of the tree, but the shadow areas, the dark areas really aren't getting that dark. What's happened here is that in the luminosity mask, pure black or anything close to it is fully selected. And then the other dark midtones are less selected until we get to highlights, which are not selected. So the things that are black in the image are being brightened faster than the other dark midtones, which is gonna cause a loss of contrast. What we wanna do here is subtract out some of the pure blacks in order to create more separation of this mask and have a more even adjustment of the forest. So what we can do is go find another darks mask that's more restrictive. So we use darks four, let's jump down to dark six, and you can see this is targeting areas that are much closer to black. And I can customize this. We'll bring in the black point a little bit just to really, now it's very much hitting the darkest areas of these trees and we can subtract it from this mask. So you wanna use the subtraction mode in Lemenzia, but you need to first click on the target that you wanna use, the mask that you wanna adjust. Now you see that the subtraction mode is available. Click on that and then click on mask and it will subtract that orange preview from that layer. So we had darks four, now we have darks four minus dark six, which looks like this in the mask, but more importantly, take a look at the result. Previously, we had this somewhat muddy shadow, and now we have this improved shadow with more detail in the trees. They look more three-dimensional and more interesting. So that's one huge benefit of using subtracted luminosity masks. We now need to go and deal with the fact that we've adjusted not just the forest, but with this unwanted change in the sky and other parts of the image you can see here. The easiest way to do that is to use a group mask to blend in the areas you want to target. So we'll go and alt click on group, which gives us a black mask on this group on top of this layer. So right now, this black mask is hiding everything in this layer. We can start painting on this mask to reveal it. What we want to do is again, target these dark areas to help paint that in. So let's go click on say darks four Looks like that'll be a pretty good basis for our selection. Click on the cell button to load that as a selection, hitting B for our paintbrush and just making it a little bit bigger. We can now go and brush in these areas of shadow detail, taking care not to paint drastically outside these areas because I didn't look too carefully at how some of the rocks and other things of the water being selected. But I know that that sky was pretty well separated. And of course, make sure you get the reflection of these trees because it's not just that the trees are getting brighter above, the reflection should also match what we're doing down below. And we can see how much further we can go. If we shift click on the mask, we can see there's a little bit more detail we can extract in a few areas here. So I'm just gonna paint a little bit more in these areas. And I think that's looking really good. Look from before to after, how much incredible detail we've pulled through in this image. Now I also mentioned at the beginning that we can reduce the size of our file. If we look at the file size below, we started at 207 megabytes and we're now at 315. A big reason for that is this luminosity mask is so detailed and it has all this detail down to the rocks and sky and stuff that we don't need. If we remove it, we'll actually be able to get a smaller file. 
So what we can do is I'm going to deselect, so Command D, get rid of my old selection, and now I'm gonna create a new selection, hitting L for the lasso. Let's go and select the sky areas that we definitely do not need. And I'm giving it a pretty wide separation between the areas I've blended. I just wanna take this big chunk here and remove it from the mask. Now I'm gonna hold down Shift and select these areas below, being careful to not go over my reflection that I did want to keep of the trees. But I can take these two big chunks of selection, which are about two thirds of the image, or at least half, and we can subtract it from this mask. So go ahead, click on subtract again to put it in the subtraction mode, clicking on mask. And I'm just gonna say, do not feather in this case. Hit okay. And take a look at our luminosity mask from before to after it's removed all those areas of extra detail there. It doesn't affect the image because we never use them in the group mask, but the underlying mask here has been adjusted. And the benefit of that is, look at the file size. We went from an estimated 315 megs down to 285. So we saved about 30 megabytes by just deleting these big chunks of area we didn't need in the image. And so ultimately we've gone from here where we've got very dark dead trees to this finished image with a much better looking forest. Hope you've enjoyed this guys. Please be sure to click subscribe and ring the bell to be notified as I continue to release new luminosity masking tutorials in the future.